Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Carts. So last month I was at the Stampin' Up! convention in Salt Lake City, Utah, and it was awesome! Really, really cool. I had so much fun and um, I participated in a lot of really great swaps and I met a lot of awesome Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It was just a great experience and um, I can't thank you all enough for watching my videos, enjoying them, and for supporting me and of course for your business. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now one of the high highlights of the Stampin' Up! convention was they unveiled the holiday catalog. A lot of you guys have been emailing me going, okay, Brandy, where is all of the Christmas and the holiday merchandise? Well, it's right here in the holiday mini. It's not actually in the annual catalog. So I'm excited. You'll have to take a look at this. Um, if you have placed an order with me in the past 12 months, um, you will get a catalog from me. Now they're going to ship from Salt Lake City from Stampin' Up! and they're going to ship mid-August. So watch for them. If you do not get it by the launch date, which is August 28th, then you'll need to send me an email and I'll send you another catalog from here. Okay, so I can't open it because it hasn't actually officially been launched yet, but it's on its way and I have to tell you there's some fabulous, fabulous stamp sets. Um, not to mention some really neat packaging and Christmas ideas. Now today's card, like I said earlier, was one of my cards for a swap that I participated in. And so check this out. This is called, this is from the stamp set Flamingo Lingo. Is that not the cutest little flamingo guy ever? I love it and it says tickled pink. Yeah, that's like pretty cute, right? At least I think so. If I could have like a pink car, I would love a pink car. Yeah. My husband's like, really? Yeah, I mean, come on. I have three boys in the house. So anyway, um, this is the stamp set, Flamingo Lingo. If you guys haven't seen it, it's awesome, awesome. Another reason why it's so fabulous is because it is actually our Ronald McDonald house um, stamp set. So if you open up your Stampin' Up! catalog here to page 249, and if you don't have a catalog and you would like one, um, at the very bottom of my post on brandyscards.com, you'll see that there's a form. Just fill it out and I will send you a catalog right away. I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Now I must say, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please ask your demonstrator for the catalog, okay? So here on page 249, you'll see that this is where the Flamingo Lingo stamp set is. It's in the very back page. And the reason it is is because we've highlighted it. Um, for every stamp set that is sold, Stampin' Up! donates $3 to the Ronald McDonald House charity. So it's a really cool, um, you know, way to give back. If you're, if you like, um, you know, if you like the stamp sets and things, if you purchase that, a portion of that will go to the Ronald McDonald House. So here we go. Are you guys ready? This is a fun card. It's pretty darn easy. And um, you know, you don't need a whole lot of stuff. I've got Daffodil Delight here and I've got, um, I think this is, this is, what is this? This is Strawberry Slush, one of our new colors. It's fabulous. Now all of the sizes and the dimensions will be on brandyscards.com and all you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner in the search bar, type in Flamingo Lingo or Flamingo and this, down, this card or any other card that I've done with a Flamingo will pop up. You can also type in there Ronald McDonald House and it'll pop up as well. So all the sizes and dimensions will be there. We're going to start with a piece of whisper white paper. This is four and a quarter by 11. So we're going to fold this in half. This is our base. Now I like this card because you know, I just, you know, a lot of times I'll do rectangles and squares and layer and that sort of thing. But I thought, well, what is another way that I can switch it up? So what I did is I actually cut some triangles. So before I do that, here's a piece of basic black. And it's basically a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual card base. And again, all the sizes and dimensions will be on Brandy's cards. It's basically four by five and a quarter is what that actually turns out to be. Now I'm going to pull up my cutting board. I'm going to set that right here. Now what we're going to do is you'll see that we have, um, you see this right here? We have got this yellow piece and then the strawberry slush uh, pink triangle. Now you're going to say, well, is that designer series paper? No way. That's not designer series paper. Not all of us have this fabulous paper on hand, so we need to make it ourselves if you can, right? So let me show you how I did that. So I cut a piece of white cardstock along with my strawberry slush. And again, we're just going down a quarter of an inch. 
So we've got the basic black here, and then we're just going to cut a white and a strawberry slush, and it's going to be a quarter of an inch smaller. So it's going to end up being three and three quarters by five. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold them together, and we're going to stick them in our cutting board, and you're going to take and you're going to start from this corner and you're going to cut straight down to this corner. And what I typically do is I just put the corner that I want, the top right there, and then I line it up with the cutting line with the corner at the bottom. So in a sense you're kind of cutting a di diagonal line. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing with our smaller, um, our smaller rectangles just because we already have the cutting board out. All right, so this is going to be the smaller one. Again, you're going to line that top corner up and then line it up with that bottom corner right along the cutting line. It's pretty easy. Cut straight down. All right, that's it. So let's set this down here on the floor. All right, so this is the fun part. So let's take a look at that, that yellow portion that I said was really super cool. It really is fun. Now, this is a card that I did. Um, recently and this is actually crushed this is actually daffodil delight and I stamped the crushed curry on the top now if you take a look here this one I actually had white paper and I stamped it in daffodil delight now they're both fantastic in color um, but you know I liked the white cardstock with the daffodil delight on top I felt like it was a little bit brighter but you know what play around, see what you come up with. Um, you know, you could even use Melon Mambo or some other colors as well. So this is just kind of the starting place to go ahead and feel, you know, feel free to shake it up. So what we've got here, now let me give you a tip because this made me cranky. Every single time I've made this card, I thought, really? So the biggest tip here is, is go ahead and align your pieces, how you're gonna have them, how they're gonna lay on your card. The reason is, is because a lot of, the, pretty much every time I've made this card, I've stamped the wrong side and then I've glued it and then it's not fitting properly on my card. So you just want to line it up and go, okay, I need to stamp on this side. Um, it's just a little tidbit. Trust me, you'll be glad I told you that one. And if you go ahead and stamp on the wrong side, well, just put it aside and then try it again. That's what I've had to do. It's really a lot of fun once you get it, but you definitely want to plan ahead. So here we go, we've got the little, it's like a fun little flowery um, scallop oval in there. I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and I'm just gonna start in the corner and work your way all the way across is all you're gonna do. And you, you know, you really don't have to stamp the whole thing because really what we're doing is we're kind of creating a border. So this is really all you need to stamp. And then of course you have the white piece from the smaller a rectangle and that's what your flamingo is going to be layered underneath and so we're just going to do the same thing just stamp all the way ar along the side and again you don't have to stamp the middle because you're not going to really see the middle and it's more for the layering purposes so let's start layering this up I've got my Tombow glue here and I'm just going to just do a little bit here on the back and stick this down. And while I'm layering this up, I have to tell you, um, I have had the privilege for a couple of years to, um, to organize the Ronald McDonald House Charity um, for the Stampin' Up! Demonstrators here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I've absolutely loved it. So if you live by a Ronald McDonald House or if you've had any experience with one, um, I know that you all know it's, it's an amazing experience and they do ama you know, amazing uh, things there. Um, miracles happen there. And um, I've had several very, very touching experiences. But um, so if you, if you are looking for a volunteer opportunity and you, know, you, you have a house by you, I highly recommend that that's, that's one that you take a look at. Um, another thing is, is if you like making cards, but maybe you can't make it to a Ronald McDonald house, well, if you let me know, I can um, help you organize a, a, a place where you can send your cards to. The Ronald McDonald house is always accepting cards. And what the ladies and I did is we'd make cards for birthdays. Um, not, you don't want to do get well cards, but like birthday cards. 
um, thinking of you, and that sort of thing. And a lot of times we, you know, we would encourage them to send a note home to dad or to mom or to grandma. And of course, what about a doctor who's having a birthday? So it's a perfect opportunity to have cards on hand for the children or for the families or for the house to send to volunteers. So thank you notes are always appreciated as well. All right, so I just stuck uh, Stampin' Dimensionals here on the back of my black rectangle. And I'm just gonna stick this right here in the center. There we go. Take a look at that. That's all I've done so far. Now, you know, if you want, you can try to line your corners up with the diagonal on your card. Um, to me, it, had, it doesn't really bother me either way. But if it does bother you, then make sure you try to line it up. So now I've got my small triangle that I cut earlier. I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow and we're going to stick this down. Now you can play around with this folks and you could literally, you could put the, you know, the yellow piece on the bottom but you would have to stamp it on the other side. Um, you know, so instead of having, you know, you could put yellow down here and pink up here so it kind of is opposite of one another. I really liked it on the same side but, you know, it doesn't, you know, it's entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter. You can just have fun with it. This is just a... Uh, this just gives you the idea. So I'm excited to see what y'all come up with because I know it'll be awesome. All right, there we go. I have got the base of our card together. Love it. Now I have to point out, when you're putting your card together and if it looks a little separated in any area, like the paper's not coming together perfectly, well, you know why that is? Well, it's because your cutting board, maybe the piece in your cutting board, the long strip, maybe it's kind of jagged and, you know, it's not perfectly straight. If it's not really straight, you're not going to get a straight cut. Therefore, when you put the pieces together, it's, it's going to leave a little, bit of a, a little bit of a gap. And the reason that I know that is because you'll see in this card here, there's a gap in it. And the reason that is is because my cutting board wasn't perfectly straight. I changed the bar today. So this one is straight. Um, so anyway, I just showed, I wanted to do that for an example because I know that, um, I know that I'll get an email or two asking about how I got it so straight. All right, so now what we've got here, just a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I have my flamingo mounted. So now the best thing to do is, if you were to take this flamingo and you were to stamp it in the strawberry slush and stamp it straight down, what happens is, is you get a pink flamingo, right? Well, if you take a look at the flamingo here on my card, He's a little bit more colorful. Well, he's got some black in him, and I thought it made him stand off the card a little bit better. So what we're gonna do, because we want him two different colors, and I'm not planning on doing any cutting, you know, cutting him out or anything like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color his legs black, and then I'm gonna color his uh, beak here with a little bit of black. And these are Stampin' Up! Stampin' Right markers. And you'll notice that the uh, fatter end is for coloring on top of stamps. Now I do want to point out, do not use your blendability, your alcohol markers on your stamps because it will dry your stamps out. So make sure that you're using a Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Right marker, not a blendability, okay? So I do want to you know, stress that because you will be unhappy um, if you do that. Okay, so we've got him inked up. We're gonna stamp him straight down, straight up. Oh, he's so stinking cute. What do you guys think? Love him. He's cute. Flamingo lingo. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop him up. You know, I went back and forth going, do I really need to pop him up? You know, probably not, but sometimes I just get in a pop dot kind of mood and everything gets popped up. Even if it doesn't need to be popped up, it gets popped up. But we're going to stick him right here in the center. Let's see, right about there. Perfect. Okay, so he is uh, well on his way. Really, really cute. I like the, um, I like his beak. It looks really awesome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull in some scrap paper. And you know, on this part, um, again, you know, if you take a look at this card, the tickled pink is all in black. And you know, I thought, well, here on this card, I thought, well, how about I color it all in black, but I do the pink in pink, right? So, um, you know, because I love pink and bright colors, I decided to just take the extra time and do that. So right now I am taking a black Stampin' Right marker and I'm coloring all of the banner here in black. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and I will use my strawberry slush marker to color the pink, the transfer the pink ink. So it will be tickled pink, which I think is so cute. Straight down, straight up, there's my tickled pink. And then we have our little flower, which coordinates with our little petal punch here. Really cute. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we'll punch that out real quick. Perfect. Now, there are itty bitty banner framelits that you can use with your Big Shot to cut this guy out. But you know what? I just thought this is a pretty easy cut. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out rather than bringing the Big Shot out. So, you know, and you guys know I like to fussy cut. Although you guys are at home going, no, I gotta get the Big Shot. Feel free to get your Big Shot. And these, um, these will work with your banner framelits. So you can absolutely do that. But I'm just gonna kinda just real quickly cut along the lines here. And um, doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Now that's it. So we're gonna cut a piece of our Stampin' Dimensional here. And we'll stick that behind our banner. And then I thought it was kind of cool um, underneath the flamingo's feet, kind of like he was walking on it, you know, that he was tickled pink. So we'll put it kind of like that. Then you've got your flower, which is very pretty. And I thought, you know what, since I'm in the pop dot kind of mood, we'll pop up the flower too. So I'm gonna set the flower right next to him. And now what I have here, let's see, this is your Dazzling Details. So before I use Dazzling Details, I've got my Stampin' Up! Jewel rhinestones. Let's put the medium-sized rhinestone right here in the center. And you know, one of two things, you can use these, um, it's Dazzling Details. It's basically your Dazzling um, Diamonds Glitter inside of some liquid glue. And so it's a lot easier to just kind of dab it on and smear it around and, you, and it dries and you've got that pretty glitter or you could use a two-way glue pen and sprinkle on glitter. Um, so I decided to pull this guy out, and you know, you could do a couple different things. You could, you could color the flamingo with this, and that will really make him pop. So let's go ahead and just put some of this right here on our flamingo. You know, maybe we just do his wings today. You know, it doesn't, you could do the whole, the whole flamingo, or just his wings, whichever you would like. And of course, I have to put some on the flower. So we're gonna put a little bit of sparkle on the flower. There we go. Perfect, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that is my Flamingo Lingo card. Now you guys wanna step it up a little bit more? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Now remember, this is wet, so you don't wanna touch it or touch anything, but we're gonna step it up just a little bit more, maybe one more notch. Let's take this yellow uh, flower that we have here. I'm gonna pull back in my scrap paper. And what I'm gonna do, because a lot of times, you know, I not always am able to show you the inside of the card, so let's check this out. I'm just gonna stamp the corner with that flower, which is very pretty. Then what I'm gonna do is clean off my, clean off my flower here just really quickly. And then I'm gonna ink it up with uh, strawberry slush. So there's strawberry slush. And I'm gonna stamp one right there. Perfect. And I think what we should do is punch it out and then we'll stick it in the center of that flower. So then when you know the recipient opens up the card, they get this beautiful flower on the inside. It's quite a surprise and it's pretty. So you could use a pop dot or not if you wanna use, a lot of times I'd use a mini glue dot. Um, it's just a little bit easier, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll set it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my jewel rhinestone on here. And then I will show you how pretty that is. All right, are you guys ready? Here you go. Flamingo, and then on the inside it's really pretty. So that's just an added little touch if you'd like to spice it up a little bit more. So how about taking it one step further before I let you guys go? We've gotta do the envelope. So let's do the envelope real quick. Here's my envelope, my Stampin' Up! envelope. They stamp beautifully, I love these things. Now one thing is, is you just kinda wanna make sure you let it dry. You don't wanna set a bunch of you know, envelopes and do, I like to do multiples. So basically stamp it and then set it aside, let it dry real quick. Um, let's see, what do we wanna do? How about we put our flamingo on the, um, on the envelope? 
So let's just color his black little legs. This is really easy to do. Um, you know, if you haven't colored on your stamps yet, you really should give it a try because it's really a lot of fun. Because um, you can switch up the colors and really make it your own. So here we go. We're going to color our flamingo really, really quick. And get some good ink on there. Great. Now I'm going to stamp it on my envelope. Straight down, straight up. Super cute, right? So now we have our flamingo, which matches our card. Now our flap. What are we going to do with our flap? Well, you know what I think we should do is start, since we have pink on our uh, strawberry slush on our flower, let's just start stamping some pink flowers. And it's going to be very random. You know, very, very random. And I'll just stamp a few here, a few there, you know, back and forth. Let's see. There we go. Now let's clean off our flower and then we'll go in with our Daffodil Delight and we'll finish our envelope. Okay, here we go. Let's get some yellow in here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love it. Love it. It's perfect for summer. Perfect card for summer and a perfect cheery card for the Ronald McDonald house. So. I just think that is precious and that complements that beautifully, right? So that is the Flamingo Lingo stamp set in the back of the Stampin' Up! catalog. And again, it does, it does, um, Stampin' Up! has donated over a million dollars to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. And I am just so honored to say that I've been had, I've had the opportunity and the privilege to help out at my local Ronald, Mc, Ronald McDonald House. And um, it is an amazing experience. So um, I was really excited to show you this card today. If you purchase this stamp set, $3 of the stamp set does go to that charity. Um, I'm so excited you guys watched the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know what? I hope you give this a try. Switch up some colors. Try different color card stocks. Um, we have a lot of stamp sets. So I'm sure that you have one in your stash that would be perfect. So um, if you have an opportunity, I would love for you to let me know what you think about today's cards and if you have volunteered at your uh, local Ronald McDonald house. Um, I love to share uh, stories. So I'd love to hear your, um, your experience and how it went for you. And um, I appreciate you stopping by and I hope you have a great day.